Howdy folks, I'm Mama B, and for this third part of my snowman's videos, I'm going to show you how to put on this cute little hat. Now this hat is crocheted directly to the snowman, and it's in layers. It starts out with the hat itself, and then after I finished that, I thought it needed a brim, so we added the brim on after the fact. So I'm going to show you how I did it. You start with your Aunt Lydia's number 10 thread, crochet thread, and we're just going to take my snowman. Now, we've been working on this little snowman, and I think his head is so cute with that little tuft of hair. I'm leaving him. But we're going to put a snowman hat on this little guy, and I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to so crochet it directly to the snowman. So you kind of have to have an idea where you want the hat to go. And then we're going to just start crocheting. Now, I started right there, but I don't want to start there. I want to start on the side or in the back. Wherever you start, that's where you're going to want your hat to flop over and fold down to. So on this one, I started on the side and then that way it covers all of the seams and in color changes, you don't have to worry about that. So attach it to the snowman head and then just chain a couple and find another place to attach it again. Don't want that too tight, so let's not skip one there. You don't have to attach it all the way, but you want it nice and neat. Like you don't have to attach it on every everything. So there's there I've chained three and skipped one. That works pretty good. The important thing about this first row is that where you put it is where you want it. So we're gonna get awful close to those eyes, but we don't want the eyes covered either. And it can be straight on if you're that skilled, or it can be a little wonky if you're into realism. Because let's face it, snowman hats don't generally stay straight on their heads. And it can be as big or wide as you want, or as narrow and thin as you want. And I'm just crocheting around the top of the snowman's head. The important thing is that when you finish your circle, it actually comes to a full circle. So right about here, I'm going to make sure that it connects with my starting stitches. Then take a look and see if that hat hits the way you want it to, lays on that head the way you want it to. We don't lose that last stitch. All right. And then we're just going to do two more of these rows because I'm doing three rows of each color and then alternating them. And the thing about the three rows is it will make it striped like this one. If you want wider stripes, you can do more than three rows. If you want narrower stripes, you can do less than three rows. You can add different colors if you want to. Um, you can throw some white in there. That would look really good with the green and the red. Very, very festive. Or you can, you know, go completely different colors altogether. You could make Easter snowman if you want. Put on Easter colors. Now this can be a little challenging because you are literally crocheting with a snowman in your hand. But when you're done, you're gonna say it's well worth it.
Now to get the cone shape, much like the carrot nose, you're gonna wanna decrease gradually. So the further up the hat you go, the more you'll want to decrease. But for starters, maybe just decrease one stitch or two. You don't want to go all rambunctious and scout that poor snowman's hat. Once you get off this first row, it will become much easier. Once you finish this first row, it will become much easier. You just work your way around. We're gonna speed this up real fast for us. Finish this row and see how quick, much quicker it goes. It's always a bit of a challenge to go back in and crochet into your first chain. And when you have a, a snowman attached to it, it's even more challenging. Don't let the awkwardness get to you and stop you from doing it because it's worth it. All right, we finished this first row. Well, the second row, first one after the chain. And now we're just gonna zip right through to the next one, to the color change. So let's speed this up. Okay, we finished that first row. Now we're gonna grab our thread, our red thread, and we're gonna start the next row. And we're not gonna cut this because the distance is so short between rows, it would almost weaken your pattern to have so many ends. So what I like to do is I make a slip knot with my new color and slide it just past the loop and cinch it down just before the knot. So you see there's the knot and there's the loop on either side of that green. And then I just switch my colors keep the green out of your way and a quick slip stitch there and you're good to go and then you just crochet again into each chain into each crochet from the row before and on occasion now I have not skipped any stitches to my awareness because that first row can be so challenging and I want to have a little bit of width on the hat. So I'm not too worried about it. I just don't want it to puff out and you can see it kind of draws in on its own. So it's not time really for me to start uh, decreasing yet. I want to get some height on there first. So we're just going to keep alternating between red and green and I'm just going to speed this up again for you because it could take a while if we don't. Okay, we just finished the red band. Now we're flipping back to the green. Now I haven't really focused on decreasing until now. I will start focusing on that and trying to get this to shrink in because you can see it's still pulling in. So for those first two colors, I don't really need to decrease but I'm gonna start because otherwise I'm gonna have a very, very long hat. Now that is a very nice thing to have if you want it. So if that's the case, don't be in a big hurry to decrease. Take your time, 
stretch out the hat as long as you want it and just cut back your decreasing. Um, and then the more you cut back, the longer your hat will be. Because with each, each decrease, you're gonna pull that in, draw that in. And so you're gonna want to uh, just be aware that if you want a long floppy hat, it's a thing and it's super cute. So decrease less. If you want it to shorten up and be a certain length, increase your decreases. Make them more frequent. All right, let's speed this up. Okay, so we've got the tip of the hat all finished. Then we're just gonna cut these strings. We're gonna cut them a little bit longer than what you would think that you're gonna need them because we're gonna use that to tie on the pom-pom. And to make the pom-pom, we're gonna make a small one. So we're just gonna wrap it around our white yarn. We're gonna wrap it around our fingers multiple times. The more you wrap around your fingers, the more you're going to have in thickness. And then we're going to take these two strings and we're just going to tie them off. We're going to wrap it around a couple of times because we want it to be nice and strong. Oh, let's cut that string. We've got that wrapped around a couple of times, and we're going to tie that up nice and tight. And if you know how to do a square knot, tie it in a square knot, better chance of holding. And we're just going to tuck those ends back into the hat, give it the length, and you don't have to worry about them coming undone. And then what you do is you cut the loops on the pom-poms. The next part is best over a trash can. Just take it and trim up these ends. You can shorten that pom-pom so it's nice and tight. And then you have your pom-pom. So I'm gonna tuck in these ends and then, last but not least, we're going to do a border around this and pin it down like so. So I'm going to put the border on now. We're going to make it red because the last stripe was green. And you'll do the border just like you did the start of the hat. Start your loop. Let's not do it in the front. Sometimes that's an easy thing to forget. Start your loop. Chain a couple. And then just pin that back down to the snowman. Chain a few more. Do another loop into the snowman. We're just going to keep doing this all the way around to get back to the. So you want to do the brim of the hat before you pin down the pom pom, the tail, because I'll tell you what, that would be hard to try and crochet around.
I'm going to do it into the snowman, not into the hat, because, well, it's part of the hat. As far as appearances go, it won't hang right if you put it on the hat. Give it a couple more for that one. And then you connect it back and do your second row. You'll do three rows. And again, this might seem just a little awkward, but it's not too bad. Let's speed this up. Okay, finish that off with a slip stitch and another one to secure it. Now, this one you're gonna wanna leave a little bit of a longer tail as well, and here's why. We're gonna use this extra tail to stitch down our hat. So fold it and place it the way you want it to lay, and then catch right. If you can see that, we're gonna catch it right where we want it to touch that brim. And we'll just catch a few of those along that rim. And that way it will stay folded and laying the way we want it to. So we'll just tie that off. Might do one more just for kicks and giggles. And then, we can... and then before we cut that, we're going to just stitch that through the hat. Let's try that again. Put it into the hat. And then you can cut that end off and you won't have any ends sticking out. We'll tuck these ends inside as well. Got one thread there. because I don't want to do this twice. I'm going to pull that other thread. Slide that into that same eye. And just get rid of both those ends at the exact same time. And there we have our hat for our snowman and our little snowman trio now. Are they cute? Folks, we hope you're having a wonderful season. And thank you so much for watching our videos. Have a fantastic day.